way we started out with 2700 really what I call opportunities to get into that we're down to the last 1600 slots available it's 59.99 so if you're looking and you're watching the show maybe for the first time and you're like I don't know where to begin please stick around to learn about that one because it's a very very affordable way to collect a really wonderful unique mint story and it's really a story about our entire country and there's so many cool things about it that's still to come as we go into our next hour if you're channel surfing, I'm Suzanne Runyon. I'm here at HSN. We have Coin Collector. It's one of the longest running shows here at HSN. And we're one of the rare places where you could actually learn a whole lot about coins and collect them. And you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Now, we're moving into the next hour. Mike Mizak is, of course, internationally known as one of the world's leading coin dealers and coin experts. He's been with us. Mike, how many years have you been on HSN? I'm starting to push 20 now. About almost 20th anniversary. And how many years have you been collecting coins, though? Oh, I've been collecting <laughs> coins for now 50 years. That's right. And you started at what age? Well, was that going to blow your age? Do you care? <laughs> I started when I was 10. <laughs> when you was 10. In fact, you put yourself through college by coin collecting, correct? That's correct. Yeah, with uh, Morgan Silver Dollars. The last time silver went to $50 an ounce. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I love that story, too. Because the coin, I, and I love you to share that because people think, oh, you know, world's leading. No, no, the guy's been doing it since he's 10. He actually really knows what he's doing. And they're such <laughs> crazy nerds about what they do. They have hundreds and thousands of charts, and they have charted the history of coins and mintages and the flow and the ebb of what's happening so that you guys really almost take it down to a very mathematical and scientific study. <laughs> of the world of coins and that's why I think when you see the things you see on the air these are the real targets they see the opportunities they see those unique like the platinum a really cool experience that you can have with a very rare coin and this next one is our burnished silver eagle again this year's version it's 2020 so there's a whole lot of story behind this one and oh by the way guys we have one of the biggest proof sets we're going to do coming up in just a bit so stick around for that we'll do that next time uh, actually next so so why, um, when we were talking earlier, Mike, are you excited about this burnished silver eagle? Well, it's not just me. Um, <laughs> everybody is. Uh, <laughs> um, the United States government, and we've kind of talked about this throughout the last hour, okay? We talked about how 2020 is this incredible kind of numismatic touchstone for the American silver eagle. The United States Mint announced last year that they're changing the design of the American Silver Eagle in 2021. You have to understand, then, this becomes the last year, or the last, certainly the last full year of issue of the American Silver Eagle and what we call the heraldic design that you see right here, okay? So you see that design. And that is incredibly important because it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, at least for me, certainly to sell it. Because by law, they can't change the design again for another 25 years. And while I've been here for now 20 to hopefully going to 25 years, I won't be here 25 years from now selling uh, coins on HSN. <laughs> that's just, I could give, I could, that's a given, all right? So this is the only time that I can do this, you know, legacy coin, this, you know, the end of the, end of the road coin, if you will, for the American Silver Eagle. We now have a closed-end edition of the American Silver Eagle. <clears throat> so because of that, the 2020 Silver Eagle has been ridiculously popular. Just the regular mint state coin, just the regular bullion coin, we've sold at a rate of about 400 to 600% more uh, uh, coins sold than we have of any other year in the decades that I have been here. Really? Wow. Oh, it's not even close. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's, it's not even close. And that's just a harbinger of what's going to happen in 2021 right. with the new design. Oh, yeah. But you want to get the last coin. So in the, in the annual issue, Silver Eagles, they do coins three ways. They do mint state coins, proof coins, and they do burnished coins. And burnished is a, is a special uncirculated coin that's made at the West Point Mint that has a West Point Mint mark. Of the three, the burnished coin is the rarest, and it's not even close. It's way rarer. And they've only been doing the burnished coin since 2006. The mint states and the proof they've been doing since 1986. And not only do they make less, they make far less of these. And these are the special, what they call collector uncirculated coins. So now you've got this last year of issue. The United States Mint, ending an era. And you have what is by far and away the rarest silver eagle that the United States government will make this year of the mid-state proof 
and burnished. The burnished is going to be 50 times rarer than the mint state coin. 50 times rarer than the mint Get state coin. Get out of here. 50 oh, times? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Every bit of it. Maybe even more. Wow. I'm sorry. That's not true. That's absolutely not true. It's going to be on the order of 500 times rare. Come on. Yeah, I dropped a zero. Who, who knew? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, on that. It, that's how incredibly rare. Now, here's the secondary wow. part of it. So the United States Mint, they usually release it about this time of year, the burnished coin. And it's available until sometime in the next year. This year, when they released the burnished coin, it sold out in an hour. It had never happened in the history of the United States Mint that the burnished coin sold out immediately. And what they have done is it is intermittently available for 10 coins or 50 coins or 100 coins or whatever it is. It's, uh, but the fact is, is there's not enough. We see the mintage figures from the United States Mint. And as I stand here today talking to you, not only is this the rarest coin for 2020 in the most popular year ever done in the United States by the United States Mint for the American Silver Eagle, not only is this the rarest coin this year, which is why every time I bring this in, we sell it out immediately. But if I check the mintage figures, like I said, as of today, it's the rarest annual issue Silver Eagle in the history of the program. Huh. It's rarer than any Mint State Eagle from 1986 to 2020, rarer than any Proof Eagle from 1986 till 2020, rarer than any Burnish coin from 2006 until 2020. So in the year that is the most collectible, we are currently sitting on what is the rarest Silver Eagle ever made by the United States government in the annual issues. Now, there are special issue coins. Or reverse proof coins that sell for up to thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars. Now understand, this is also rarer than most of those coins. <laughs> the 2011, or 2006, let's go with 2006 reverse proof. The first reverse proof coin ever made by the United States government in perfect 70 condition is about $1,000 to $1,200 what we'd sell it for. This coin's going to be at least twice that rare. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be at least twice that rare. So, and it's 2020, and we have it, and it's in stock, right. and it's certified perfect. Right. I think you have a pretty good idea why you need to own this coin. Okay. Now, now well, here's the secondary part of this. So we're sitting here now, okay, I guess we're, we're not quite September. The United States government starts making silver eagles for next year. Next month. Oh, no way. So they've got about another 30 days, 20 to 30 or 35 days of production before they just start doing 2021. They still have tons of 2020 coins to make. So the fact is, not like they're going to make a bunch of these coins. They can't keep up with the regular mint state design, let alone the collector's uncirculated design. Right. And I have got this in mint state 70. I have got it perfect, and I've got it at a price. You have to understand, the United States Mint, once this sold out in the first hour that it was available, <laughs> the price is almost doubled. Then the Mint released a few more, and they went down a little bit, and then all of a sudden they sold out again. And the, the, the fact of the matter is, is the rarity of this coin, giving the popularity of this coin, is at unprecedented levels. So 2020, its bottom line is, 2020 is the most popular silver eagle that the United States government has ever made, in terms of what I've sold. Right. Nothing else even comes close. And I've been selling them since 1986, okay? <laughs> so I have personal history with every American silver eagle Yes. in terms of selling them. I've been selling them on TV since 1989, okay? <laughs> so I've been doing this for a while. I know this is the rarest, and it's not even close. Now, within that rarity profile, this is the rarest coin of 2020. It's not even close. By far. I mean, it's not even close that this is the rarest coin. Right. It's going to be hundreds of times rarer than the regular Min State coin, which, by the way, in the last hour... We sold a couple of 300 of them in a few minutes at $129. Right. That's the regular Mint State coin because I have them. People don't even have them. People are hoarding American Silver Eagles. You couldn't find them if you wanted to. Right. Okay? Wait, so this might, coin is going to be might. literally hundreds of times rarer than the coin that was just $50 left. But let me ask you another thing, because usually you guys will have a whole bunch of conventions throughout the entire year, and they'll do local state events and even local events for newsmatic coin collectors. How is that influencing, again, getting your hands on these really rare coins? 
Well, we, well, those are all canceled. Well, that's what I'm saying. How is that influence? There, hasn't been, a coin show. there how, hasn't been a coin show in months. Right. So I'm saying, they how is that the influencing? They canceled the ANAs. There's right. no coin shows right. in the foreseeable so, future. So that is like a domino effect on trying to get these really rare pieces, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And then the, you know, the biggest issue with this one is the Mint just can't make them. The, right. You have to right. understand, well, the, all branches of the Mint are open right now. They're working on extraordinarily reduced staff still because of social distancing. I mean, they are an arm of the federal government, right? Right. And so, and then you have demand at absolutely insane levels, right. levels that we've never seen in all the years I've been doing this since I was 10, okay? Right. We have, we have demand and a supply that is so, is hopelessly behind. Right. And that's so post, that's, that's pre, wait, but Mike, that's pre-COVID. <laughs> I mean, and then, we, you, and then we it was, crack into COVID. Then COVID happens. Yes, right. right, right. And then you had the proof Silver Eagle. Yes. That's, that was sold out from the Mint for six months. Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> okay, they sold the proof Eagle and they finally made a few more. So they're catching up from orders three, four, five, six months ago. This one is not at the front of their list. And so it will guarantee remain one of the great rarities in the American Silver Eagle program. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And so what I was able to do is when it first came out in that first hour, and I think I told this story when we originally had it, I wouldn't have had any of these coins if I had gone to lunch. No way. Seriously. Because they're always available forever, right? Right, right. right. And I knew this was going to be a great coin because 2020, so we were going to order 10 times the coins that we normally order. Right. And, and we're about to go, I said, well, let me order it before I go to lunch. So we ordered literally thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of coins, went to lunch, came back, said, you know, I probably want to order a few more because <laughs> I think this, this coin's truly spectacular, sold out. Oh, my gosh. And as it came back, it came back three weeks later. They made it available, and they don't announce it. We saw it ordered, I think we ordered 600 coins sold out. You're kidding. Yeah. Just you 600? Just 600? Yeah. Well, that's, that's all we could get. No, that's what I'm saying. That's how few you can get. Uh, uh, in the second batch of these. Wow. Okay. okay. And so, so that's what's happening. And so since I ordered all of these coins, this incredible uh, uh, quantity of these coins early, understand there's no big batches of these coins anywhere. They're selling, you know, when you see fresh coins, uncertified coins selling, they're already selling in, in many instances at 40 and 50 percent premiums. Oh, my God. Occasionally, I've seen them show back up on the Mint website for an hour or so at a time. But some of the coins that we got when we went to certify them, they'd probably already been certified. We got like zero seventy. Because understand, after the initial sellout from the United States Mint, yeah. oftentimes the coins that remain are returns. Oh, you're they kidding. Just them, oh, yeah, yeah, they, <laughs> they just, just return them, them back, back and then they yeah, release, they they release back whatever back. they have left. Hey, I got to give a quick update, Mike, so excuse me just for one second. Guys, we're well over halfway through our quantity. We're down to final call, last chance to get it. Again, this is, when you talk about rarity, again, Mike, can you explain that one more time? You're saying it's 500 times rarer, finish the sentence. Yeah, and it's rare, rarer than the Mint State coin from this year. And it might only be end up being 400 times rarer. Okay. <laughs> a lot of that depends on how many of, of the uh, American Silver Eagles that the Mint makes for 2020. Right. I'm assuming they're going to make 50 million if they can. They may only end up making 30 million, which would mean this coin's only about 300 times rare. Oh so, I mean, you gosh. know, in, in terms of collectability, what's the difference between 300 times rare and 500 times rare? I mean, you know, it's right. a rounding error. That's rare. It, it's ultimately, <laughs> the fact is, is it is significantly, phenomenally, incredibly, exponentially rarer than the mint state coin. It is also going to be somewhere on the order of five to ten times rare than the proof coin which there's no possible way I could do for $179.95 <laughs> from 2020. Right. That's going to be the second rarest coin of 2020. And then here's the kicker. So this will be the rarest coin of 2020, which is the most popular Silver Eagle, because they're changing the design next year in 2021. That's driven the, the popularity of 2020 is, is exactly what's happened there. But here's the real driving factor. This is the real thing that's behind this. When you look at the mintages, as like I said, we stand here, all I can do is work in real time. And as I stand here, it's not only the rarest Silver Eagle of 2020. 
It's the rarest annual issue Silver Eagle in the entire Silver Eagle series. Right. Generally. Not generally, specifically. Well, I mean each year, though. But I'm saying, but if you take every year from 1986 to 2020 in the mint states, it's rarer than all those. That's if insane. If you take every year of the proof coins from 1986 to 2020, it's rarer than every single year of those. And if you take a look at the burnish coins from 2006 to 2020, it's rarer than all of those. That's crazy. Okay, so so you have a coin in a year that it should be the most popular that they should make the most of, and this is the hallmark of 2020, right? Right, and right. Instead of having making the most coins, they make the least coins. That's wild. So when demand is skyrocketing, when demand is skyrocketing, supply is plummeting. You do the math. Okay, oh, you do the math. And Mike, on just this. in case someone's a novice and they're picking it up, explain burnished. Oh, burnish just means burnishing is a process that they do to the to the unstruck coin to the planchet to give it this beautiful kind of halo <clears throat> kind of cloud effect and it's called matte finished. They do it by burnishing the planchet, which is basically running it through a little tub of micro almost microscopic kind of glass beads. They're they're small. They're not microscopic, and it gives it this finish. That uh, is what they do, and that's how the, that's how you get this burnishing. And the way you can tell it is, you know, I can tell it by just the the, the luster, in essence, you know, the finish of the coin. But you can also tell it because it has the W or the West Point mint mark on it. If you go over and look at the reverse of the coin, sure. the mint state American Silver Eagle does not have a uh, uh, does not have a mint mark. Right there. And the burnished coin has got a W or West Point mint mark. It. It's like the United States government signing an artist's proof. Hmm. Uh, is in essence what it is. It's the collector edition. You're right there. There's the W uh, that you're going to see right there on the reverse of the coin. The proof also bears a W or West Point mint mark, but you can tell the difference because it's the coin that has that looks like a mirror. Right, right. Okay. So, okay, got it, got it. All right, so really quickly, we've got about three minutes to go. Oh, it's three minutes or this is gone. So you've got, you know, very few, just I don't think literally. you have three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We only My, had, what, 800? We had 800, and now we're down to, where are we at now, Rocky? Here it comes, we'll tell you exactly. There we are, 254. We started with 800 about 10 minutes ago. We're down to the last 252, so again. Now, let me explain to you what this represents. Okay. Because I had 800 of these, and like I said, we've been, we've been aggressive on this. Yeah. These 800 coins represent 1% of the entire mintage. The 70 coins of 1% of the entire mintage. Okay, so one out of a hundred uh, possible Mint State 70 coins in existence are in this batch right here. That's insane. And we're going to sell them in 10 minutes. Right. So do you understand what you're up against here? Okay, do you understand what you're up against here to be able to buy this coin and own this coin? Uh, so let's go back in the last couple of minutes. Remember, 2020 from a Silver Eagle standpoint, for those of you that don't know, <clears throat> and not everybody does, the United States Mint announced last year that they're changing the design of the American Silver Eagle. Wait, and Mike, can I interrupt you real quick? Please. Guys, this is all pre-COVID time. So as he builds right. this story, it gets more insane. <laughs> right. Then, so they announced it last year. Right. And so they go into production for 2020. We had our, dear mate, if you remember, we had our uh, <clears throat> today's special value. Yep. And sold, I don't know, 16,000 Mint State coins in, in, on the day. Right. Right. Sold out completely Yep. Uh, uh, with that. We didn't have the burnish. We sold the proofs at the time as well. We didn't have the burnish because they weren't released until, <clears throat> excuse me, much later in the year. So then they were released, and then they were sold out in an hour. Now, on top of that, so we did that, and then all of a sudden, of course, the, the COVID pandemic hit. And so out of, a, out of an abundance of caution, the United States mints shut, rotatingly shut down. Okay, they shut down the, the San Francisco Mint for almost two months. Okay, for almost two months they shut down the San Francisco Mint. Wow. The West Point Mint was shut down, and that's the only place they make these Silver Eagles like this, these special Silver Eagles. They specialize in Silver Eagles. They were not only working in, uh, 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 with a very much reduced staff, but they were actually closed for 12 days. Wow. They cannot keep up with the regular Silver Eagle Mintage. They're by law required to make these. They made a few of these, enough to sell out, like I said, in an hour. Okay? They've been kind of intermittently available here and there. But those are not 70 coins. Okay? Hmm. Many of those on a oh, wow. returns and so on and so forth. The key to this is, is that this coin that you see right here is the, 
numismatic poster child of 2020, <laughs> <laughs> if you will. Right. I mean, the fact that it's the rarest of the rarest of the most collectible. Right. Uh, you know, it's it, that's, that's amazing that to me. Way. And you know what? And yeah. again, we're at three flex pay and 179. You've got to remember, too, when they announced that this was going to be the last time they were ever going to do this coin in this style, right? This is it. It was pants on fire moment. I mean, when Mike first came on and started talking about it, it was like, oh my gosh, that's, that's momentous because you always want to get the last of something. And by the way, be here New Year's Eve Eve to get the first of next year because you have the last of the old one and the first of the new one you got a real collection going right there okay you want it so <laughs> well uh, the last are always very collectible right but, but the, no make mistake no mistake about it the first you know what i'm saying the first <laughs> or the first yes so, so, so fyi like, you said, new year's eve this year when you and i are on i'm assuming it'll be you and i it usually it's is year, new year's uh, eve eve right on the 30th new year's eve, yeah new year's eve eve Correct. Yes. So what you want to do is you uh, got to be here at the top of midnight. Crazy. Yeah. Everyone's yeah, good. Crazy. It'll be probably one of the craziest launches Mike and I have. And we do it every year traditionally. So I love doing it. We spend New Year's Eve Eve together. Mark the, the, the going into the 31st as you got to be here at midnight. Because if you got this one, which just sold out, and you get that one coming up, you've got like the sweet spot of just not only a crazy 2020, but historically a significant, even without COVID, historically something wildly significant. All right, Mike, sorry, that one's gone. We got to move on. Guys, I just want to tell you, we've got a great way to be able to shop with us. And um, it's neat because you really do get a lot of special deals, kind of VIP deals that you do not get if you're just a regular customer. Um, if you'd like to get our HSN card, you can get all the details on hsn.com. And when you buy that first item with it, we're going to give you 10 bucks to say Thanks for shopping with us. All right, Mike, we have got to move on because we got more, 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 more coming up including this next set. So uh, this is exciting because this is one of our bigger sets and we always wait anxiously for these collections because the way they do proof sets is there's just not a lot of them around because most people like Mike will break them apart and sell it all separately because the coins are more valuable individually than they are in a set. So we get excited because it's a wonderful way to be able to get 1992 to 1998. This is a 35 piece coin silver proof set. And Mike, you indeed did not destroy these. Where did you find these at? <laughs> well, like I said, we found a real small quantity. I've only got, I think, about 100 and a half of these uh, sets to go around. Someone yes. put them away. Uh, finally decided to cut loose of them as silver doubles in value. Uh, the United States government stopped making silver coins in, in 1964. 90% silver coins in 1964. Started making, stopped making silver coins altogether in 1970. So from 1970 on, there wasn't any silver coins made by the U.S. government. And then in 82, they started making com some commemorative coins in silver. And they decided that silver was popular. Silver coins look better than clad coins. So in 1992, they started making silver proof sets again. And so it was a special deal. And they, so they made the proof set, penny, nickel, dime, quarter, half. And they did the dime, the quarter, and the half dollar in silver. As you can see right there, it says silver. They're, they're denoted by the black boxes that you have here. Uh, the non-silver sets come in green boxes. So these are the black box silver sets that you're going to have here. And they were, in essence, made to order, and they did not make many of these. And so because of that, this complete set that you have right here of the first seven years of issue of the, you know, reissue of the United States government she proof sets, very rare, very underproduced in terms of this. And I, and I have to be honest with you, the whole key to this are the Kennedy half dollars. Uh, the Kennedy half, it's either the Kennedy half dollar or the Lincoln cents are the most popularly collected coins, uh, uh, you know, amongst collectors these days. But I would probably go with the Kennedys. And understand the only way to get silver Kennedy half dollars from 92, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 is out of these sets. Is out of these sets. And that's why these sets are so difficult to find because you can just crack these open and sell the coins individually. And that's what happens. So if you look, for instance, so if we look at these, when we just start looking at these Kennedy half dollars, and so well, these silver coins, and of course now as silver has increased so much in value, these have as well, extraordinarily difficult to get. Like I said, we have what, seven sets there. So we're basically roughly $50 a set. 
So we're basically $10 a coin if you look at that across the board. If you go in, as, as I want to do, I go into the nationally advertised catalog and just look at the value of the silver Kennedy half dollars in here. Okay. Starting in 92, just the Kennedys, 4950 dollars $93, $65, $59.75. The key to the set is the 1995. That's a $100 coin. No kidding. 1995 is a hundred dollar coin. 96 is 67, 50, 97 is 72 dollars, and 98 is 51 dollars. It is ne very nearly 500 dollars for the Kennedys. <laughs> That's crazy. It is very nearly 500 dollars for the Kennedys. The quarters are 35 dollars a piece. The quarters are almost $250. So we're approaching $500 for the half, we're $250 for the quarters. The dimes are almost $200 because they're the silver dimes and the only way you can get them is out of these sets. And the mintages are, t are minuscule compared to the regular issue coins. I mean, even the pennies are almost seventy dollars uh, when priced individually. So coin by coin by coin, you're starting to approach eight hundred dollars. Starting to approach eight hundred dollars for the entire set that you're going to have uh, uh, with that. And we are three hundred and eighty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. And they are all in the original government packaging with the original government certificates of authenticity. Hey, Mike, how'd you come across these? Uh, guy sold them to me. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what, guys? That's usually what happens. He'll have somebody call him and say, hey, I know of, or hey, I've got this, or hey, my family wants to kind of get rid of this. And they go to him. I mean, it's, you know, right. it's very much, you know, like, I know you know Jay King very well. You know, he has all these crazy connections around the world, and thus he can get right. a hold of gemstones that nobody else can. You actually have the same experience, just happens to be in the coin world. Exactly. It's so funny. Uh, I live here in Florida, of course. Yes. My phone number's from New Jersey. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm scared to change my phone number. I've had the same phone number for 30 years. Because <laughs> I have guys, I have guys that I haven't talked to in 15 years call me over and go, Hey, Mike, I got three bags of Morgan silver dollars. You a buyer? I mean, because I know literally thousands of guys, okay, coin guys. And so I have to be available when people want to sell stuff. I had a guy call me the other day, $1.35 million worth of gold coins. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, we're a buyer. Yeah, I'll buy them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we bought them. And so, so that's what happens. And so a guy calls me. He says, hey, I've been putting these sets together. I got, I think it's 120. It's either 120 or 150. I don't recall. Well, you started uh, with 150. One, we only have 150 to start with. We don't have yeah, that many so now. Yeah, so 150. Yeah. So he had 150 runs of these, 150 of each one, individually hand-selected, right? Mm-hmm. And we got them and brought them in. And, I mean, it was, it's difficult to get because, I mean, your silver has been so in, in, uh, uh, incredible in terms of the price run up in silver. Right. And so these silver sets have disappeared. And so when you can buy these for far less than half, far less than half the, uh, 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 the, the individual price, and you get them in the original government packaging, right. I think, you know, that's a unique opportunity because these are not the regular proof sets. This is a good price for the regular proof sets. These are the silver proof sets. Right. That's the key. All the dimes, all the quarters, and the half dollars are silver in this set, and that 95 Kennedy is a $100 coin by itself. Like the said, one the right here. Uh, approach $500. is way more than the price of the set for just the Kennedy. Right, so your $500 coin by coin basis just for the Kennedy half dollars that are in there. That's a big deal. And again, he didn't destroy them. He actually put them together and kept them as their, or he got them as their set, kept them together, and obviously one of those, again, really unique finds. We do not have a lot of these left for the whole country. We started with 150. I'm sure we're a lot less than that. Coming up next, we have a really neat auto ship. I'd love you to learn about it. It's a great way to get into coin collecting. What really separates a house from a home? A home should provide comfort, coziness, and convenience. Join me on Monday nights where I'll be giving you great ideas for your home, your kitchen, and your life.
Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day. And at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsn card. With the power of HP from HSN, reinvent how you work, how you play, how you live. Technology that makes life better for everyone, everywhere, and deals designed for every budget. HP on HSN and at hsn.com. Yeah, that's coming up at 10 o'clock, but we're not done yet. Mike Mizak joins me over the phone. We're talking about uh, really one of the most unique shows we do at HSN, and that is uh, coin collecting. And he brings us very rare, very unusual, and really unique opportunities, including our next one. I do want to mention, though, guys, coming up, stay with me, because we have, in about 12 minutes, the last of the silver Kennedys. This is a 20-coin half-dollar roll, and it's $50 off. So you got to find out why. You got to stick around to learn the story behind it. All right, Mike, this next one I really, really love. It's kind of near and dear to my heart because I actually have part of this collection. Um, it's called the American Innovate Innovation Series. And uh, this coin, and this is one of the first coins that I bought last year, actually. This is a series that started this year. But it was very crazy because they did a surprise issue of this coin. I believe, Mike, it was back in December, correct? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, actually, they didn't release this coin until 2019, uh, is, is what they did. See, this oh, that's is right. the very first one from 2018. That's right, that's right. This is one of those rare coins that is a 2018 coin that was released in the next or following year. Right. The United States government, I mean, they haven't been able, they've been able to keep up for two years. Uh, uh, so, so that's what it is. So the United States government decides to do this brand new series. It's called the American Innovation Dollar Series, is what it is. And what they're doing is just like, it's kind of based on the um, uh, state quarters. They're doing it in by state in the order of statehood, and they are each state gets to kind of highlight a innovation or a business or a technology that 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 state is in essence famous for. And so they, then you then you go forward after this when you go Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, and you go on with this. And they did this. It was very interesting that they've never they, they're not going to release any of these coins into circulation, even the mint state coins. So they're going to do mint state coins. They're going to do proof coins. But then, interestingly enough, this is the crazy part. They are also going to do reverse proof coins for every single solitary one of these. Oh, wow. And they've never done. So no series in American history has ever had reverse proof for every single solitary the, the coin. The state quarters oh. didn't have it, Mike? What's that? The state quarters didn't have it? No, no, there's no reverse proof state court. That's really crazy. <laughs> You'd no, think they would have done that. <laughs> there's a few reverse proof uh, 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 national parks quarters, but not every year. Not the entire and collection. What they okay. do is these aren't in any proof set or anything. They're released as an individual coin. Okay. So, so this is the 2018, which is sold out. Now, here's the key to this. They only made 75,000 of the reverse proof coins, which are completely and totally sold out. Okay, the 2018 is gone. Right. This year, they did something really interesting. They raised the price 20%, and they reduced the mintage to 50,000 coins. No way. So the fact of the matter is, is there will only be 50,000 possible sets in existence. Oh, my gosh. 50 Thousand sets, not in 70, not in Annex First Day, not in any of this, but period forever. It is undeniably, absolutely, positively the rarest modern issue United States uh, coin set uh, produced by the United States. Man, it's not even close. How many? Well, how many do you? Th how many do you think well, are going to come out as perfect 70? Because now you're committing to this. Yeah, we're committing to this. And, and they, they tend to grade okay, but out of 50,000 coins, if I bought every single solitary one of them, which, of course, is impossible, right. we might get 35,000 coins. So oh, what, wow. this, what our, our uh, <laughs> uh, as you can see, our auto ship represents here is probably about 15 or 20% of all the coins available in the world. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 
And we already have, how many did you say that we had on this? I think we already well, have. Well, no, here's what happened. We actually have sold 2,700, and we started this presentation left with 1,600. So this is right. all he has. Because you got to remember, he's he's kind of going out on a limb, because you got to remember, this is a multi-year uh -huh. a multi -year, uh, thing that's happening. And for him to say, look, you get in this. I can never raise the, raise the price on you. I will guarantee you're going to get it. And he's got to guarantee it's a 70 perfect coin. And it's reverse proof, which is insane, right? Because you know, Mike, right. that's what threw me. I have the original that's not reverse proof that we sold when it first was launched. But right. I, there's no way I have this one because this is so recent. Well, and, and not only that, the 2018 that you see here is completely sold out from the mint, 75. So they sell out the very first, the very, very first coin at 75,000. And in typical U.S. mint fashion, what do they do? They lower the mintage to 50,000. <laughs> and you're going to get each one of these going forward for 59.95 certified 70 individually numbered. That's now, great. here's the other crazy part. The United States mint raised the price of these coins 20% this year. Mm. And how much we're raising our price? That would be zero. Wow. Okay, so as the Mint has aggressively, aggressively raised their prices across the board, you don't have to worry about that. Your price can never go up and your delivery is guaranteed for as long as you choose to stay. By the way, and if you look behind there, Suzanne? Yes. I think oh, yeah. that's important. Let me like show you with this. your yep. first auto ship, yep. you get the Red Oak presentation box as well. Right, so as you get the additional shipments. And how often will we get a new coin, Mike? Uh, every once a month. Okay, so you'll get the, and he'll guarantee you get the entire collection. And by the way, you can get out of oh, that and, collection and if you want to. Let me back that up. Once a month to catch up, then it's only four times a year. Oh, gotcha. But what I love is he guarantees you'll get it all. They'll all be 70, so they're going to be perfect right. coins. He's guaranteeing it, and he can't raise the price. Even if the prices continue to go up, he's got to stay with his original price. The box which is included with your first shipment, which is awesome. So you guys are going to get the first one, and then you're going to get all caught up. And then, Mike, it's four times a year, and how many more years is the Innovation Series? Um, it is going to be, I think, uh Nine more years. Okay, got it. And it's nine four years from now. Four coins per year, four coins per year, 56, 56 coins. Gotcha. And here's what's crazy. Even nine years from now, he cannot raise the price on you. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah, he gets And people love his auto ship. You have people, what is the longest running auto ship in the history of you uh, offering coins? Uh, say quarters. Started it in 1999, we still have people in the program. Isn't that funny? Isn't that great? All right, that's very we, cool. We literally have people that have been in our auto ships, our coin auto ships for 20 years. That's really, two decades. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. So again, really rare, really unique opportunity. All right, Mike, we're moving along. We had to squeeze in a whole bunch more stuff. This is called Premier Label. Well, again, we're talking about 2020, American Silver Eagle. What makes the Premier Label unusual and unique? Well, the Premier Label is exclusive to me. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is Premier Label, by virtue of it being in the Premier Label, we have a limited edition. One of the issues that you have with, with and look, I love NGC and PCGS coins. We sell thousands, hundreds of them. I mean, we just had NGC, uh, the Burnish Silver Eagle sold 800 of them. Love those coins. But the issue with those, okay, is that they have limited quantities in terms of, or unlimited quantities. You know, as many people uh, send in grading, they, they get them. So look at this right here. So this is our first edition. This is exclusive to me. I need you to flip over that certificate of authenticity. So we've done all the work. You've talked, and we know what's going on with the 2020 American Silver Eagle. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. This premier edition is exclusive to me. There are only 2,500. There are only 2,500. Hundred premier edition uh, uh, American Silver Eagles for 2020. And that, as you can see, this is a first edition limited to 2,500 coins. That's the president of my company right there, Steve uh, uh, Clinic, there on, for HSN. This is 2,500 certified 70. This is the only place you can get them. They are exclusive to us. We've got 2,500 and 2,500 only. The only place that you can get it is right here. This is the 2020 Silver Eagle. The 2020 Silver Eagle is the last in the series. The 2020 Silver Eagle, it's done, it's gone, it's over. Right. You have to understand, they're not making it again. In 2021, they are changing the design. So this is like, so we've sold uh, the Annex coins, first day of issue, what we sell? 16,000, sold them out. Right. Regular MGC coins, we've sold thousands and thousands and thousands. <clears throat> For PCGS, there's only 2,500 of these Premier Dish coins. That's it. 
and they're available exclusively here. And by the they're way, we, uh, Mike, we only have yeah. 200 available. That's probably the last 200 that I have. Is right, exactly. So remember, this is the box that we have. Sure. We even have it's a slightly beautiful. different box for this. It's gorgeous, actually. So, I mean, you know, it's this so is pretty. This top end uh, uh, PCGS edition there. Yeah. If you open up that box, it's kind of more of a mahogany color as opposed to an oak color. It's got the. Ooh, uh, that's uh, nice. It's got the velvet inside, kind of the velvet puff inside the coin or inside the box itself. It's, a, it's just a superior, a superior presentation that's that you're going to have that the coin fits in. So I think it, it, it's great. So you got the 2020 Eagle. Like I said, the mint can't keep up. There's huge premiums. Silver's doubled. And I have it for my major grading companies. This is my ex most exclusive presentation is the PCGS Premier, which you can only get here, which you can only get here. And like you said, there's about 200 of these, I think, is all that. That's uh, all that's uh, left. Some yes. That's all we have left is uh, less than 200 now. Oh, actually, sorry, yeah, yeah. I'm behind. We only, Mike, we only have 150 now left. So again, guys, yeah, this I'm is on the last minute and a half. We're going to sell these because remember yes. the importance of 2020. This is a la this is a legacy coin. This is a transition coin. This is the end of an era coin. It's a once in a lifetime coin. Because remember, they can't change the design again for 25 years. They're changing the design in 2021. You want that last full year issue American Silver Eagle, and why not get it in PCGS? in PCGS 70 with the Premier label, okay, with our Premier label and the per Premier Certificate of Authenticity and the Red Oak presentation box that's more like mahogany-ish, <laughs> I guess is the best way to put it. <laughs> the upgraded mahogany-ish uh, Red Oak presentation box. Hey, guys, this is, this is, and there. also, you know what, of all the 2020 Premier or Eagle, Silver Eagles we've shown tonight, this is the most affordable way to get into it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know, and like I said, 2020, just spectacular. Yeah. Just spectacular in terms of rarity, collectability, desirability, and this coin's the best of the best. And guys, you want to get this one, and then I'm telling you, on New Year's Eve Eve, <laughs> you definitely, <laughs> if you you want, if you can get any of these 2020 American Silver Eagle dollars, get what you can get. And then join us on New Year's Eve Eve, and you'll get 2021, which is a first. It's a brand new design. So you're getting the last of the old design. And by the way, the American Silver Eagle, do you know it's the most popular collected bullion coin in the world? So so all these Silver Eagles what we're selling, they're the most popular worldwide, right? Here you're getting the last of the last for 2020. And then and on New Year's Eve Eve, we will have the first of 2021. And that's such a spectacular thing to have, the last of one and the very first of the next, especially when you're talking about any collectibles, but seriously when you're talking about in the coin world. So even if you're brand new, use our FlexPay, hang on to that guy, get us to New Year's Eve Eve going into 21 and grab that new one. That's a big deal. And by the way, that last coin, we're down to the last 50. So that will be sold out. In fact, we have to move on because it's almost gone. All right, so this is one of my fun ones. I love these because I actually collect these too. I have, you'll see, it's because of Mike and actually doing this show that indeed I do consider myself still a novice coin collector, but I really have enjoyed it. And you know what? I get some really cool coins and I tuck them away. And I always love when Mike gets excited about it because this one is really fun. And I love dumping it out, Mike. I don't know what it is about that. And it's the sound... That is so amazing as well. But here we go. This is the last of the silver Kennedy $20 half dollar rolls. It's $199.95. And Mike, um, I, I love it tonight because guess what? We're 50, basically $50 off. So money on sale. Why do you bring these out to us? Why are these significant? Well, a couple of things. I first saw this thing and I'm going, uh-oh. 199. How did that happen? I mean, you know, my uh, uh, my partner is, is uh, does kind of the operation side of it. And I'm going. I wonder if he. Uh, so I guess he decided 199. I don't. I don't get it. Um, I don't know why it was 249. I guess that's that's more likely the uh, uh, the price, given the fact that these are silver Kennedy half dollars. I think the most important part of this, as we as we speak right now, is the fact that I quite literally have them. Okay, I just I have them. They're so, and understand these are fifty-year-old Kennedy half dollars. Okay, by 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 virtue of, of age, they're all fifty-year-old uh, half-century-old Kennedy half dollars because they stopped making silver Kennedy half dollars fifty years ago. <clears throat> so, in today's world, if you followed the price of silver, silver has more than doubled within the last year, and what has happened with that 
is there's not enough silver to go around, what we call physical silver. Uh, you know, I know as people, you know, buy silvers, they sometimes buy, you know, stocks or those kind of stuff. But I think that the most popular way to do it, particularly in the United States, is physical silver. In other words, to own silver in either bars or ingots, but most preferably in coins, whether it be American silver eagles or uh, uh, American silver coins. And these are American silver coins. Now, when I bought these coins, traditionally, they're in very, very low grade. They're very, very low quality coins. They're, they're bought and sold for their silver. I have gotten to the point where I tend to only buy coins if they guarantee that they're uncirculated. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because what I like to do is give you not only the silver in this, and I basically price this, in essence, based on the silver. And that's why I was a little concerned that we took $50 off with silver going up so dramatically. <laughs> but I guess <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Yeah, wait, um, no, no, no. That's uh, just a phone call after the show. <laughs> <laughs> the phone call after the show. Are you sure? Uh, it's like, oh, it is what it is. Once we sell it, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, once it's out here, yeah. you guys get in on it, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. So uh, uh, we got these. So what you have is these uncirculated silver Kennedy half dollars at $9, basically nine ninety nine a piece, 10 bucks a piece. Right. Uh, is what it comes down to. But they have numismatic value as well because they're really an uncirculated coin. Excuse me, so Mike, 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 Mike hang on. Catalog. Mike, hold okay. on one second. I Just because I know it's tough to see your screen because you're delayed. Um, we um, have sold out of the Premier label, so that's now completely gone. Uh -huh. Now, remember, on .com, there's lots of different 2020 options. Get, maybe, the, I don't think the Burnish is sold out yet. Did we, sold out, did we sell all the Burnish? Yeah, the Burnish sold out. Oh, that's sold out too. Okay, go to .com oh. and you'll find oh, more oh, options. Oh, 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 wait, wait, there's some Annex Burnish silver Ooh. eagles on HSN.com. Okay, so if you missed out on the last one we just had, the premiere or the burnish that also sold out, check out on .com because you'll see more 2020s. All right, sorry, Mike, I just wanted to give an update. Yeah, absolutely, no problem. Thank you so much. Sure. And so what we have here is, and, and the ten dollars a coin that we're charging for that is really based more on the silver pricing. And any parts of silver, anything made out of silver, particularly U.S. coinage, is insane in terms of collectability, in terms of desirability. Uh, uh, you just can't find it. Silver bars are selling for <clears throat> premiums to the silver price. I, it's just never been like that. And I mean significant premiums <clears throat> to the price of the silver that they contain. U.S. coins are selling for monstrous premiums to the price of the silver they contain. And fractional silver American coins are selling for huge premiums as well. Well, I have these, and that silver, uh, my silver pricing, like I said, $9.99 or $10 a coin. But if you go to the nationally advertised catalog, because they're uncirculated, they've got this numismatic value. Right. And in the nationally advertised catalog, they are $19.50 a piece. Oh my goodness, so double. So instead of one ninety nine ninety five, they're closer to $400. They're wow. almost exactly $400. Wow. So you've got 390 bucks versus 199 bucks. Because so, in essence, you buy them for the silver and you get the numismatic value at no additional cost or charge is really what it comes down to. I have a very small quantity of these that I can do at what apparently is our sale price. <laughs> I, I so Sur hope that's correct. Surprise! <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. You know, over the course of the years here, there's every now and then one of these things that somehow kind of gets mispriced. I don't think this is one of those. I'm trying to do the math in my head, but it is a little late. We're almost at the end of the show, so I'm right. a little frazzled. <laughs> uh, uh, so I think we're okay on these. But the fact of the matter is, if you buy them, I guarantee that you're going to get them. That's the okay. And by the way, if it's Mike and his team's mistake, it's your benefit. <laughs> right. So literally, yeah, and you know what? You know what? No, but you know what? Yeah, Mike's pretty. Mike's pretty sharp. He doesn't usually make a mistake. But I do. You know, the guy's in the coin business, okay? But I want you to see this though. Uh, the, I have these. I collect these, and I do it for several reasons. And one of them is the value, obviously, for me. I mean, they, you know, you can collect silver however you want. But I actually have a couple sets of these. They actually come in that little container, which is kind of cool. And you know what's really funny, Mike? Because these are super old coins. They almost look like they're brand new. And I kind of love that about it. Right. And that's what I'm saying. That's the numismatic part of it. I mean, the silver value, the intrinsic value is kind of, that doesn't matter. The condition, in other words, doesn't matter. Right. Even a little bit. Right. And you, I don't know if you can, you know, you know how I do it, take the coins and kind of quink them together. Yeah, I, I love mean, it. There's no substitute for, for the way silver sounds. And, you and know feels. And by the way, the way it feels, there's a weight to it that's unmatched. Your regular old right. coins in your pocket just don't feel this hefty. But listen, listen right. to this, listen. I've learned this trick from Mike. Yeah. It's, it's such a just, cool sound. Because it sounds, there's a reason bells have silver in them. 
Oh, okay. no kidding. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. All, all the best bells have silver in them because it gives that clarity of, you know, that clarity of, uh, 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 it just sounds like silver, you know, and it has that sound. I mean, for many, many years before all the silver coins disappeared, I'd always jingle the change in my pocket because I could hear a silver coin. Oh, that's so cool. You know, okay, oh, wait a minute, something there's silver. Okay, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got a really unique, aside. and it's got a heft to it, too. If you ever carried a lot of silver in your pocket, your pants would fall, to be honest with you, because it's very hefty. It's actually got right. a ton of weight to it. Guys, we do not, again, have a lot of these. And, Mike, honestly, I don't remember last time we offered the last of the Silver Kennedy uh, co coin rolls. Do you know when well, we did, did the last? half rolls two weeks ago, and we sold out of those. Gotcha, like okay. I said, so keep in mind, these are the full rolls, which means it's a 20, it says a it's not a half roll, it's a half dollar roll. Yeah, they're okay. all half dollars. Half dollars. You're, you're getting a full, full roll. 20 coin roll. Right, right, right. right. You, exactly. you promised that. So you get 20 coins. And, and, okay, it's a half dollar roll. And Mike, so after, after, go ahead, Mike. Yeah. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, and after the show, he's going to find out why it's $50 off. You guys take advantage of it. Because <laughs> it might be like, it might be two hours from now, it's going to be up to the regular price online. But right now, take advantage of the sale price for sure. It's 50 bucks off on money. All right, so Mike, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do two quick one-minute sales, Mike, and then we're going to go back to, if you guys missed it, one of the coolest first in the history oh, of the U.S. Right. Mint. Good, good, yes. good. We still have a few of those left. We do. We only have a couple, though. But here's what we've got. One minute each, Mike. Remember, one minute. Okay. Okay, Mike. Okay. First one up. It's the early fine war in the Pacific quarter. Okay. It, it's pretty simple. The United States Mint decided to make coins collectible again in your change. So what they did is they made West Point Mint quarters and they inserted them into circulation. You can't buy them. You have to find them. These are the first coins that were done in 2019. They've got a W or West Point Mint mark. Early fine means that they came in in the first 30 days that they were released to the general public and this basically kind of Easter egg find uh, a find a coin i've got just a few of these remaining a tiny quantity the original price 99 dollars 95 cents for my final quantity as you like to say money on sale 49 dollars <laughs> 95 cents. that's this awesome is yeah. that is really good wow Very so cool. basically 50 percent off and then we've got three flex space it makes a great gift idea too and certainly an awesome way to start your coin collection all right mike that was that one here we go one more we want to show you before we go back to which one where did I put it? The Lowell, the Lowell Mass Quarter is, is what is the same thing. It's this W Mint coin. They weren't, they're weren't. they not in the Mint sets. They're not in the Proof sets. They're not in the, all you can do, you, the only way to get them is to find them. Okay, you have to find them in circulation. <laughs> Early find means that they were presented to for certification <laughs> for the PCGS within the first 30 days that the very first one was found. Uh, that you're going to see it has the W or West Point mint mark on it. And remember, understand, you can't buy these anywhere. They have to be found. So the early fine coins are the ones that are in the absolute highest grade. They're in the absolute highest grade because they were in the first 30 days. Because if they're in circulation, the grade goes down every single, you know, every day almost. Right, because somebody might have them at the grocery store in their pocket or in their handbag. And they're getting all sure. clunked and around. All of a sudden, it's that mint state 66 becomes a 65, 60. Before. There's no mint state 70s. There's no mint state 69s. There's right. no mint state 68s. Yeah. I, I, you know, typically because of the way that they're released. So mint state 64 is actually quite a high grade. Like I said, our original price eighty nine dollars ninety five cents. Final quantities on these uh, on these historic West Point mint treasure hunt coins that the United States Mint placed into circulation only forty nine dollars. 95 cents that once we sell out they like just simply won't ever bring them back and by the way check your quarters every day because you might be part of a hunt i think it's kind of one of the coolest ideas they've done in a really long time so make sure so. you know you put the you find a coin with a w on it a washington quarter with that w yeah in any condition it's basically a 20 dollar coin yeah so make sure to check all your coins when you go to the grocery store the gas station anytime you get change or start using cash again and get a bunch of change but you might have literally a quarter that's worth 20 bucks how cool would that be right all right there you go yeah. all right so this well, next this next demo i have absolutely nothing in front of me but it was such a big deal <laughs> but we're going to show it to you online it was such a big deal that we aired it for the first time last night at one in the morning and sold 200 and so we were able to get it in the show tonight and i i i, I asked for it i specifically said oh my gosh this is such a cool story we've got to get it on the air tonight so here's the story i now have de i have 100 remaining so if you didn't see the story last hour. I'm going to let Mike get into it. It's the first ever
colorized U.S. Mint coin. And if I stop there, it's worth the 100, 100 pieces that are left. And I would even think multiples, but there's so much more to this story. So Mike, where do you want to start? Yeah, you know, it, it, there's been a couple times in HSN history where I've sold out a coin before I've actually had one right. <laughs> in, in my hand. Uh, this is likely to add to that legacy that you're going to have. So we, we were able to buy these coins, and we were able to buy them, uh, in essence, early, if you will, okay? And the reason behind that is this. We partnered up with the Basketball Hall of Fame, who had partnered up with the United States Men, for this U.S. commemorative basketball release. The original one was in June, of course. They did the original release in June of the silver and the regular half dollar. Well, part of this was is they did a secondary release, August 28th, that you see here, the courtside release, Naismith Private Collection, with the, from the Hall of Fame, with the Basketball Hall of Fame logo that you have on there, and the colorization of this is done by the United States Mint. This is the way that the United States Mint released this coin. They have never, ever done a colorized coin in their history before. If you look right there on the label, it says, first official colorized United States government coin coin, U.S. coin, not just going, just the, any, this is the only colorized U.S. mint coin in history is the basketball commemorative. And you see the colorization of the basketball, the, the colorization of the rim, and even the net that you see right there is all colorized <clears throat> at an incredible, incredible rate <clears throat> that you're going to see. It is stunningly gorgeous. It's numismatically historic. And then the way that we're presenting this, it's not just that it's the first colorized coin. It's the fact that we have this first day of issue from, like I said, in essence, the court side, uh, uh, you know, the basketball Hall of Fame release of the 28th of, of August. So we're the only ones that can do that with the A. Smith private collection. We've got the exclusive basketball core in there as well. You put all of those things together and they're amazingly, abundantly, incredibly collectible just by the colorization part. But now add in all of the other provenance of this that is literally from the Hall of Fame and it's part of this very exclusive thing. Now, the United States Mint, you'd assume the very first colorized coin that they've ever done in history. You'd assume they're making what? 400,000, 500,000, a million? They're making 75,000 coins wow. total. That's insane. 75,000 <laughs> coins total. Now, there's not 75,000 coins that were done with the Hall of Fame. There wasn't 7,500 coins that were done with the Hall of Fame colorized. There's not even, I think, 5,000 coins done with the Basketball Hall of Fame colorized. This is even a smaller microcosm of a coin that was vastly underproduced to begin with. Wow. And you have the opportunity. Like I said, we don't even have a sample to show you. No. We're going to sell 600 coins. Now, I will tell you, he guarantees you'll get it. So even though I don't right. have a sample out of here, don't, I literally have we nothing have to show you. We have coins now at PCBS. Yes. I just couldn't get one here. They couldn't get one physically in for the show fast enough. So right. that's why we're showing it all online. Now, here's the scoop. We're less than 100. We've only got about a minute and 11 seconds to go. This will be completely sold out. And when it's gone, that's gone. It is probably one of the most exciting launches, Mike, I think you've ever done. Only Not only because of the unique uh, correlation to the history of basketball, but that first ever. Girl, gang, if you could get, Mike, give us, a, give us a coin that was the first ever that kind of bl would blow you away if you had it. Uh, first uh, West Point minted uh, Silver Eagle, okay. 1995, 10th anniversary, in proof 70 condition, it's a $20,000 coin. Okay, so the, we can't tell you what the value of this is ever going to be, but when you get that very first of anything from the U.S. Mint, the very first, it's like the 2021 American Civil Eagle will do on New Year's Eve Eve, this is such a big deal. And this is even more momentous because it's the colorization and it's that whole private label with the basketball hall of fame it's one of the best collectibles i think you've ever brought us mike we got to wrap it up mike thank you for joining me tonight pleasure as always Suzanne. all right guys hang on the line for that one and get those last few before it's sold out miss shannon is coming up next in the wing she's got a lot of great items coming up including a look at our today's special food has always been my passion but the truth is even in the world's best kitchens the tools can really make or break a chef that's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for our HSN. It makes the prep easy, and it also makes the cooking a whole lot of fun. From my kitchens to your tables. <laughs> Let's turn the everyday into gourmet. 
only four or five hundred of them left. I start to get a little panicky when items start to sell out. This wow. is it, you guys. I get a little anxious. Gone, sold out. Gone. I better make this phone call. It's usually something that I really want, and I want to make sure to get it. When they say only 12 left, that kind of helps me make my decision. There's no more thinking about it. They're almost sold out. That's it. Final, wow. final look. My fingers don't work fast enough on my phone. Oh, wait, it's gone. Oh, it's sold out Oh, already. my gosh. I have to get it before it sells out. Suzanne and I got chitty chatting, and then, bye. You'll love the Today Special. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much.